بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته uh, ladies and gentlemen distinguished guests good morning uh, I'm delighted and honored uh, to be invited to make the opening remarks uh, however before I start I would like to take this opportunity and congratulate United Arab Emirates Armed Forces for their 37th unification day United Arab Emirates Armed Forces is a key a supporter for the space sector in UAE. I would like also to thank uh, Streamline for their uh, efforts to promote space in United Arab Emirates. In my short uh, opening remarks, I would like to highlight uh, the importance of space. Uh, space is uh, the fourth domain of power, is a key for national security, national interest, and the economy. If we just remember or we know that uh, space activities started maybe around 60 years ago with two nations, United States and the old Soviet Union. Today we have more than 60 countries that they have space activities, including United Arab uh, Emirates. Uh, in fact, space, uh, uh, global space market, uh, it was estimated in excess of $300 billion last year with a steady growth of two digits around 12 percent in 2012 this is according to space foundation report if we look closer to home in the middle east and north africa we have seen increased interest in space through a number of uh, space programs uh, and in fact if we look home to united arab emirates uh, uae has identified space as a key sector for the national interest and security and for our uh, knowledge-based economy. Uh, UAE has a significant uh, space activities and major space programs in the region. For example, ESAT is a major satellite program that provides military and commercial services. It's a unique model in the region. It also provides uh, broadband internet which is a key and a new in the region. Uh, Thraya, connecting two-thirds of the world through mob uh, mobile satellite services, uh, and also not just only in satellite communications, but uh, the Emirates Institute of Science and Technology is also has significant activities in Earth observation through the Dubai Sat 1 and 2 and 3 and more to the future. Uh, as you know, UAE is a, a global citizen it's participate also in United Nations uh, activities, space activities, and we have the pleasure to work with, uh, for example, the uh, U.S. and European Union to promote a code of conduct for outer space that intended to make our, to make the space more safer and secure and accessible to uh, all nations. And I'm sure uh, Frank Rose will highlight the importance of a code of conduct uh, to uh, our region. Uh, UAE also is promoting space through uh, education and a number of s space events. And UAE also is planning to establish a national space agency that coordinate and integrate uh, space activities in the near future. Uh, before I conclude, I would like just to encourage our space community to engage and to involve with international experts attending this conference uh, for better uh, future space. And now I will be uh, delighted to uh, ask uh, His Highness Dr. Turkey Al Saud to make the opening address.